Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to design this model here from Stradicad CAM side. Okay, we will create this model as a practical exercise in FreeCAD. Okay, and if you want this drawing, you can download it in this site here, Stradicad CAM. Okay, so now let's go to FreeCAD, and what to do in this start page is to create a new document. We click in this plus icon to create a new document and now we select par design workbench okay and what to do here is to create a body and and okay next let's see the drink page so here we have this image view here okay and here we have these views we have this top view and this section view and we have these dimensions here so first what we'll do is to create a cylinder after that we'll create these pockets here okay so we come back to the free card document and we go to additive filters and here we select additive cylinder okay so now we have this this window here what to do in these primitive parameters is to change the radius and the height so let's see in this page here so okay here we have this diameter okay but here we have radius so what to do is to is to set this formula for the radius and the height here will be will be 14 we see here so we change here to this dimension and next click home and you can see the cylinder in this way and next we'll select this xy plane as a reference and now click ok ok and next we select this face here and we create a new sketch ok in this sketch what we'll do is to draw the circle here and this pocket a sketch for this pocket here so we go to this sketch and we select this cycle tool and now we draw this cycle and next we click in this icon now we select this polyline tool and we draw this sketch okay and next click in this point now and click in this line and again click in this icon and now select this polyline tool and click in this point here Draw this line, click here and now in this point and now in this point here. And next year we select this constraint here, we set these two lines parallel. Okay. Okay, and next year we'll set the dimension for this sketch here. So okay, here we see here we see this diameter 12. So we select this constraint here and we set the diameter of this cycle to 12. Okay, and the distance between the center point to this to the center point of this cycle here will set. Okay, here will be will build the half of this dimension here. So okay for Okay, here we have this diameter 107. Okay, so here we select this vertical distance tool, click in this point, and now this point here. And here we'll set the half of this dimension. Okay, so now this cycle is constrained. And next, here we select this equal constraint and we make this line equal to this line. This line here equal to this line. Okay. And next we'll set the, the, the length of this line here. So okay guys, here we see here we see this dimension 82 for this cycle here. So what to do here is to select this constraint here and set the length of this line here to, to the half of this dimension here. So here we, we put 82 and we divide it by 2 
so now we have these dimension here 41 okay and next here we set this angle 6 so what to do is to select this constraint here click in this line and now this line here and we set 6 and this point to this point we'll set okay we're having this problem here so we delete this angle here sorry control z select this dimension here and delete this dimension and now select this angle constraint again and select this point here and now this point and here we set this dimension and now we click in this line here and now this line and we see this angle so what to do is to close this window here and now we we'll leave this sketch here and we go to pocket tool we set the length here to 14 okay so now we have this and then and next click ok and now go to model and select this pocket here and we go to polar pattern tool what to do here is to change number of occurrence to 3 and we set the axis and now click ok so now we have this part here and next what we'll do is to create this cylinder here so okay to do this we go to additive filters and here we select this additive cylinder tool and next we'll change the radius and the height and next the attachment of the cylinder so here we can select this face and select this option here initial yes okay and and okay here we see this diameter seven six so what to do here is to set this formula and the height of the cylinder will be five millimeters so we change this dimension to five okay and click ok and now we have this part here and next we want to create this part and these pockets here so okay guys what to do is to select this face here and go to this part tool okay here we'll change the link to we'll change the link to we'll set here we'll set 72 minus 5 millimeters so here we set this and next here we'll next here we'll change this taper angle so what to do here is to put this formula okay here we'll set 90 degrees minus 72 and close this okay so we have the part in this way so what to do is to put this symbol here and now we have this and now click OK. Okay, and next here we'll create this part here and next this. So what to do is to go to additive cylinder again and here we we set as reference this face here and the height here will be three millimeters. Okay, and the radius for the cylinder will be will be 20 will be the half of 21 here we set 3 millimeters and now click ok and next here we click in this icon again and we select this face here and we change the radius here to the half of 25 so here we will set 25 sorry Click in this cylinder here. The heat here will be okay. Here will set it 92. Okay, minus 75. Okay, and now click OK. And next we select this 
edge here and we go to chamfer tool okay the value here will be two millimeters so i change the size here to two millimeters and now click ok and next here to create this pocket here we select this face here and we create a new sketch in this face and now click in this icon and what to do now is to draw this arc here and these two arcs and now and next these lines here so we select this arc tool click in this origin point and we draw this arc and next select this polling tool and draw these lines and now we select this fillet tool here and we fillet these two lines and now these two lines okay and next select this equal constraint and we make these arcs equal okay and now let's set the dimension for the sketch here so okay guys here yeah, we don't have the radius for this arc here okay so here we'll set we can set two millimeters okay and the dimension for this arc here dimension for this arc here is will be the half of this dimension here 36 so we set 36 okay and next here we'll set we select this constraint here and we make this line here horizontal okay and here we have these dimensions here we have five here okay for the distance between these two lines here so okay here we select this vertical dimension and we set the distance here to the half of five okay and next what to do is to select this external geometry tool and extract this edge here okay and next select this parallel constraint and we make these two lines parallel okay and now click in this icon and select this line tool and now click in this point and now in this line here okay and now select this constraint here and we make these two lines perpendicular and next here we select this constraint and we set the distance of this we set the, the length of this line here to the half of five millimeters okay and next we close the sketch leave the sketch and and go to pocket tool okay the length of this pocket will be okay will be 72 minus 5 so here we'll set okay and click ok and next we go to model and we select this we go to this pocket operation here and we go to polar pattern tool and here we change the number of occurrence to 6 okay and now click ok Okay, and next here we'll create this wall here. Okay, so to to do this, we go to. Okay, we create a new sketch in YZ plane. Switch to section view and select this polling tool. Click in this origin point, and and draw this line here this line and this line here okay and and next click in this horizontal line and in this origin point so now we'll set the horizontal dimensions here but first we constrain this line here to horizontal and now we select this horizontal distance tool okay here we see this dimension 
15 so the length of this line here will sell the half of 15 okay and next we see the dimension for this line here 21 so here we select this point and now this origin point and we set this dimension here and next here we have this dimension 45 so okay what to do here is to select this line here and we set 22 millimeters okay and next here we set we set the vertical dimensions so we select this vertical distance tool we select this line here and we set 14 okay and the length of this line here is 25 so here we select this line here and we set 25 and next to go constrain the sketch here we select this line here and we'll set the length to 92 plus 14 okay so now this sketch is full constrained close this sketch and go to go to this tool here group tool okay and now we click okay and now as you can see we have these wall here and and it's okay